guys, my name is Emmy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to share to you guys my go-to art supplies. So these are the supplies that I usually use, but they are not all of them. So basically, I will share the pigments, markers, like watercolor and palette that I have. So before this video begins, please remember to subscribe my channel, like this video and share with friends. If you like, you can also follow my Instagram accounts. So, without further ado, let's get started. So basically, I will start with the pigment watercolor first. So you can see that I have three palettes and a bunch of like watercolor pigments. So this one, the first one I use um, the pigments that I have here are Hoban watercolor and also Winsor Newton, but I didn't use it a lot so that you can see like the color change like this. So that kind of sucks. So the second one is Winsor and Newton. You can have like two separate palettes here, and I really like this color because I use it a lot when I was in high school. But um, the last roll is actually from. A brand called Sakura, so they are not with their news in the last row. So, yeah, you can just separate the palette and it's very convenient to use. So, another palette that I have, they contain a bunch of Hoban artist watercolors. So, this one I bought it last year. I really, really like the color. But I think I didn't officially use it to draw a watercolor painting But I think I would kind of like make it soon The color is just like so amazing Love it I think this palette is from Korea These are the Hoban Artist Watercolor They are just so beautiful And another thing is that you can just use a little amount of the watercolor pigments. You can create like very vibrant effects on the paper. So this is the point that I really like Hoban. So it's my favorite watercolor brand. So they are the same actually. Yeah, the pigment. So here is another watercolor kind of like little palette and little box. It's kind of like a pearl effects watercolor it's from an other japanese brand i think it's called z z i g but i'm not sure how to pronounce the name it's 12 colors on it so these little tiny watercolor kind of like blocks are also from the previous Japanese brand called Zack IG Zack So they are just like a series of golden watercolor and I really like gold So this kind of like transparent bag I just put random acrylic inside so majority of the pigments are acrylic Like white acrylic some glitter, it's like transparent. So these glitter acrylic um, were actually bought uh, when I was in high school because I wanna like kind of use it in my public exam. So, but I didn't use it a lot actually. This is another, yeah. So this is like part of it. And then this one, They are actually, um, most of them are acrylic, but I have a couple of Hoban watercolor inside. So yeah, Hoban watercolor is really nice. I highly recommend it. So I've got like blue and also some kind of like different tones of green, but they basically are the same with the first world of, um, the color on this palette 
so these are just like random i don't know what's the brand name it's just like bought it very cheap yeah so you just like this yeah. another part of my pigments are ink so these ink um although you can see that there's like no brand because I contain with an other kind of like container so these are from also from a high school I got it from my VA visual arts room so an other ink I use is the Windsor & Newton so Windsor & Newton is actually a brand from the UK this one is also from the Holborn brand is a Japanese brand I really appreciate Hobans because like they always make their color so vibrant so you just only need to use like a little amount of it you don't really need to kind of use a lot of pigments to make an artwork so these are from Dr. P.H. Martin I bought it as a set so you can see that I have a, like kind of a lot of Dr. P.H. Martin's ink these are Ecoline. If I don't remember wrong, it's from Japan. It's another brand from Japan, yeah. This is a random brand, I don't know, yeah. But I didn't really use it a lot. So this is a um, kind of like Chinese painting pigment. Actually, I have several um, Chinese painting pigments in other places, but right now I don't have them. This is like an other ink. I don't know. So I'll, this one I bought it when I was a freshman in college. It's kind of like broken. There's bamboo on top of it. I use it for the Chinese calligraphy something. This is another ink. But this one specify I would use it for like yeah calligraphy also, and this is like a um, poster color pigment. It's gold, so it's not transparent. But I really like the color, so I just bought it. It's from Pen Pentel. Pentel. Yeah. It's a bunch of um, kind of like s sketching pencils for. Um, for of course sketching. They are Stadler. So and then these are some artist charcoal. I also bought it when I was a freshman. But I don't really use it because like it makes my hand so dirty. Okay, and in this pencil case, I put all of my not all, I put um the color pencil that I usually use inside. They are from Faber Castle. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. And then also a color. And also I've got a bunch of Sakura fine liner, like kind of liner pen. Yeah, so the tip is like this. I usually use it for sketching or like illustration because they are so fine at mm, tip. So these four fine liner pen are another brand, but I'm not sure the name. So this is like a brush one. And other liner pen is from U and I, but I prefer the Sakura one. This is like Shopee from the United States. Wow, there's like a bunch of color fine liner pens. 
So they are from Stadler. So of course, Stadler is a very well-known brand from Germany. But to be honest, I don't usually use it. Wow, this is uh, my favorite markers ever. It's Copic. I think everyone knows it, but it's really a little bit expensive for me. I really like the color and also the blending ability of it. Like this is like the brush type. And then they also got a kind of like more rough and marker tip. This is the type 2 um, Copic marker. Is it called version 2? So those Copic markers are basically the version 2 is called Zeo. I don't know. So there's like um, different colors of it. Actually, I bought those Copic markers in Amsterdam. I didn't bought it in Japan because I was like... I was traveling with my friend in Europe that time. So here's another type of markers that I have. It's from Fabric Castle. Fabric Castle? So majorly, I have two tones of um, Fabric Castle markers. It's another marker from Stadler. And also some random brand inside. Maybe including the ZIG from Japan. Also Windsor Newton. So this one is Windsor Newton. But I actually have a bunch of Windsor Newton markers, but I don't have them right now. This is like um I don't know what's this brand. Color Master. So the Settler markers also have two tips. These are my brushes. Basically, I will use them for watercolor and also oil painting, sometimes acrylic. And then I've got these. So these are my favorite brushes for oil painting I really like how they designed the brush I still remember I used I used it a lot when I was a sophomore and also another type of brushes So most of them are from Star Art here. So these brushes can create like a very unique effect. Venus, um, like bunch of different brands. So it's kind of like messy. But my favorite one are from Winston Newton and KYX. I think it should be Quickie YX and also another brushes. No name. Even though two brush. And this one's for the calligraphy. These are some oil painting palette knives. I use it for mixing the colors of my oil painting and also acrylic sometimes. So this one is for the oil pigments blazer or like acrylic shaper. It's a blazer. It's a container for oil painting. Stetler color pencils, but I don't like the color actually. Not that fragrance. So this is like um, kind of like intense blocks. 
this one is actually bought when I was in um, Form 4. And I have another color pencil of Moleskin. Moleskin is, uh, is actually a journal brand. And I've got some Western calligraphy pen. So it's like this. And some ink. So these kind of like a bottle thing is for my oil paintings. But I already forgot what's the function of them. Because like I didn't draw that much. So last time when I was drawing oil painting, that was like one year, I think over a half, half and a year ago. So these are the majority of my art supplies. So I really hope you guys will like this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah.